Hello and welcome to tophorse.com.au. Today I'm going to be showing you quarter markers and shark's teeth on a horse. We use them on a horse to emphasise the shape of the bottom. Sometimes you can make them look bigger in areas where they are a bit weak. And sometimes if they've got a really lovely big uh, hind quarter, you can enhance it with the patterns. Now I start off with, I use a product called Water Glaze and I wet the area. I then use a very fine brush with short bristles and give her a brush over. I have a line down the centre here that I go by. I can start my shark's teeth from and my checkers and then I also brush here and I will have a line here. So we start, this is, I'll do a couple of different patterns. We start up at the top. By brushing down, we're changing the direction of the hair and it's like velvet on a lounge suite. It will look darker one way than another way. So when you do this, you make sure that your line across here is straight. I use a steel comb and the bristles are actually quite strong and they've got rounded ends so they don't hurt the horse. From my first line, then you go into the middle and do the next line that, and you keep it the same length this way for this particular pattern and then you just repeat the process. Until you go as far as you like to go, it's all very much an individual process. Just make that one stand out a bit more. If your horse is in summer coat, it makes it a lot easier to do this job. So you can do many different variations of the patterns. So that's one pattern finished. The next pattern I'll show you is a pattern that a lot of people use for their riding ponies, which is very much something that um, a lot of the English ponies are using. And for this one, it's a lot smaller one. And again, just take your time and lots of practice. And this one takes a while. And just don't push too hard so you don't upset your horse. And this again is a lot of practice and a patience. So for this particular pattern, you don't wait till the last minute to put this one on. And again, it's trial and error, what you like on your horse. I like to look at photos and decide whether I like that look, whether it actually enhances their hindquarter or whether it makes it look worse. So you can create a bit of an optical illusion with your patterns. If a horse has a dip or a weak place. So for this pattern, a lot of the riding pony people will use this in the riding pony ring because it's uh, something that they use in England a lot. Um, I like to use this on a horse that's got quite a big hind quarter. So there's no dips or anything. And when the light hits it, you can see it makes that look bigger. Then what we do is we do a pattern called a shark's teeth. So I start from the bottom and again it's a process of just moving the hair in a different direction. People can start from the top. You can make these thinner or thicker or wider. Again, it's practice. It's what you like on the horse. From there, I would just grab some hairspray, spray the coat to hold it in place. Then I use a shine spray product and that will highlight. And there your pattern's done. Thank you for watching tophorse.com.au.